Hi, this is Fred with Quality Wood Engravers. I'm going to make a simple job here, uh, bringing in a uh, text file. I'm going to just make my plate size. I'm going to make it three by one, one by three. And actually, let me go and start by going to Excel, and I'm going to open this Excel file. And here's this Excel file that was sent to me by a customer. Now, I know that this item and this line changes it's going to be a three line name badge and all of the all of this line is going to be exactly the same so I'm going to just do a little trick and I'm going to copy this to my clipboard go back to engrave lab click on my text and I'm going to use my frame compose text and I'm going to set up my frame properties here I'll make it probably 0.15 for a left margin Point one five and the top margin I can just leave it like that and see what happens point one eight eight is good and let me pick out a different font I can go to my Q&E fonts and I think I saw a century there but I should have all of these memorized but I think I saw it up here number 22 century two line I'm gonna double click on it so I'm gonna have first Oops. First, last name here, and then the second line. Remember, I copied it to my clipboard, so I'm gonna just hit Control V, and then Enter. And the last is the division. And it really doesn't matter what you type here because the first line and the third line is gonna gonna change. So I think everything is pretty much set up here now is the time to save it so I'm gonna save this and I don't want to put it there I'm gonna just put it on my uh, desktop just for now and I'm gonna call it junk and save okay now I want to go to badges so I click on my badges here and uh, I want to use the plate I don't want any score lines, but if you do, if you want score lines or crop marks uh, for this, I imagine you're just going to be cutting it out. Uh, the size of the plate that you're going to be engraving these 1x3s from is a 12x12. 12 12. You can add a top margin or a left margin or a bottom or, or a right margin. Let's say that there was clamps all the way around. You can also add spacing between each one of the tags, horizontal and vertical. Let's say that you're cutting it with a sheet, um, with a saw with an eighth inch kerf. Guess what? You didn't need an eighth inch space between them. And over here is the text. And I want this line. And I'm going to hold the uh, control key down and select these two lines. This is my boilerplate that I just got from the email. And before I do that I'm sorry I let me let me just cancel out of here I need one more step I didn't make the text file so I'm gonna delete this section right in here and I cut away this top line and now I'm gonna do a save as and I'm gonna save as other formats click down here and I'm gonna save it as a text tab delimited and there it is text tab delimited and I'm gonna save it as CCS and I'm gonna put it in the one logos and save and then it starts asking you all this crap and you can just usually don't worry about it because you don't want to ruin your original so now I should have and what I uh, often like to do is just to make sure it's a one logos and here's the CCS text I like to open it up in notepad just to look and see and you can see here's the name and if I hit the arrow key to the right one time you can see it jumps all the way over to this entry so there are not spaces in here this is a tab so this is my first name second name and and so forth down the list so and then I'm gonna save it I like bringing it into notepad just to look at it and make sure that there's no extra formatting in there that engrave lab may not like so 
again I'm gonna make sure I save this and I'm gonna go to badges click on the first line and the last line and everything else should have been stayed the same if your plate size that you're engraving on is not 12 by 12 you'll change this and now I'm gonna click on browse and I'm gonna look for that CCS text which is this one here open it and then just say OK and this is what it should bring in if it takes a long time thinking about it you've got a problem on this file and you didn't open it in engrave lab I mean in uh, notepad so here's all of them that it's gonna bring in if something needs to change you can change it um, but because it was supplied to me I, I won't need to do that so I'm gonna just hit OK and it should start populating it now here are it actually created seven pages so here are your seven pages of engraving now there are some tricks such that you can you can be on page one and then you're gonna send this to the engraver there are ways of making it engrave all the pages one at a time there's a special driver that has to be utilized for that but uh, doing it the hard way you're gonna select this go to engrave then you're gonna click on the second page and grab these and send it and then you're gonna keep doing that now if you have the Q3D controller you can actually do this seven times and then you can recall the first job the second third fourth you can do it right on the pendant and, and just name it something really simple you would name it the number one number two and so forth or you might put a a one space seven or something of that nature hope this helps. now one thing I forgot to mention is that currently this is a seven page document it is still called this junk CDL so if you want you can go under here and do a save as and you can save it as the full uh, seven page uh, engraved uh, project because you always want to be able to go back I just hit the back you want to have this job available to you because you can always do the badges to this job it is very difficult once you lose this setup then you have to recreate it or take one of them and resize so it's much much easier to start and save this job and then if you have the full layout job because who knows the material that you use next may not be a 12 by 12 sheet of material and you're going to be doing a lot of hassling to to get that uh, all the jobs to engrave 